Hello everyone, and welcome back to their Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Session Let's Play video. And this is part 136 of my Let's Play series. And as you can see, we are still in the cave from the last video. And in this video, we are going to be exiting the cave today because as you can see, my hearts and food are looking very, very dangerously low. So I really need to get out of here as quickly as I can. So let's see if there's a way out of here. And it looks like I have been through this area, but it looks like there is an area up to the surface. So let's actually get out of here because I can just stack right up here and we'll be at the surface. It's also getting nighttime too, so that's also bad. It's going to be interesting trying to travel back home from this point, but we'll see what happens here. So if we just dig up, this should take us straight out. So let's dig up as quick as I can. Okay, now that I'm up to the surface, let's just run. So I went from this direction, I'm pretty sure, because now that we're in the swamp, I'm pretty sure I'm close to my house. Because if I look, oh, well, looks like we're already here. Because if I look at the bottom of the map, you can see that the uh, Milestone Museum is right there. So we were actually surprisingly pretty close to my house from the last video. I'm actually surprised about that. Because we just automatically made it back home without trying to make it back home. But, oh, well, that was definitely <laughs> unexpected. That was definitely not a good way to start that. So let's go ahead and sleep, and I'll go ahead and go back and collect my stuff. Okay, so I have collected all my stuff, and we are now walking back from the dangerous Milestone Museum area. So, wow, there is a lot of mobs over there, so let's get the heck back home. Now that I can run, and finally get back home safely, because, wow, that was definitely not what I wanted it to happen, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and sleep real quick, and we will get into what we are going to be doing in this video today, which is going to be a brand new build. And this build does have to do with mining. So because I've been mining a lot more lately, I figured why don't I build myself a small little mining network area down over here in this cave over there where I usually start my strip mines. Because I figured why don't I make something like that, because I always mine down there, and it'll make it a lot easier in the future if I do have to mine again. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my inventory sorted out and we will go ahead and get started with that. Okay, and now that I have my inventory sorted, as you can see, I grabbed some stone for the mining network and I also smelted the food that I had. And I also grabbed some used iron armor from my chest because I actually had a chest with some spare iron armor in it. So that will definitely come in useful if there's any mobs down here, which there might be, but there is a lot of torches and there is enough light to where the mobs probably won't spawn. So I don't think we'll really run into any problems related to that. So, now all we have to really do is just go down here to where my strip mine was that I started in the previous couple of videos. And it's at Y12, of course, because that is the best layer to mine for all the diamonds that you could get. And it is just right down here. So, right now, it is just a skinny, as you can see, 1 by 2 area, obviously, for strip mine. So, it really isn't all that special at all. It's just a simple area to access your strip mines. And as you can see, here is where it is. So it is very tight down here, and there basically is next to nothing for me down here for preparation or future strip mines. So that's why I figured today we can create some sort of mining network to hopefully fix that problem. And it looks like we already have one problem here of gravel, so let's just do that simple trick where I get rid of it just like this. And there's cobblestone everywhere because there was lava here, so that's another... Ooh, yeah. There is definitely lava. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to keep watch for that because that could surprise me at any moment just like it just did there. So there is some gravel here again. This area does have quite a bit of gravel, but it's not too bad actually because it's not really that high up in the air. So as you can see, there's more gravel here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place a torch here, here, and here. So that way when I break these blocks, just in case there's any gravel under here, as you can see, it just collects it all. And for this one too. So it's a really efficient way to get gravel that way. That's actually one of my favorite ways to get gravel. Just look up and see if there's any gravel here. As you can see, there is some gravel here. So all we have to do is just break these two blocks, which there probably is lava, and there is. Ooh, yeah, let's definitely try to <laughs> place that down and get rid of it. So I want to place a torch down here, and then there's going to be lava here, so I'm going to make sure to place a block. Okay, make sure it doesn't spread, and there we go. Yeah, this is definitely kind of dangerous. And then, of course, we break the dirt, and the gravel will just fall onto the torches. <laughs> Look at all that. That's actually quite a bit, because you can see how high up it goes in the air. Now, for this one, I can't do that, unfortunately, but... Oh, I could, because the lava's here, so all I have to do now is just fill in the lava, and then break this piece of cobblestone. 
then all that gravel will break. So, so far we have this area, and it's not going to be too terribly big either, because obviously I don't need like an astronomical amount of space for this mining network, but I do want a decent amount of space. So I can actually put some like preparation materials down here too. Like maybe some extra pickaxes or maybe some ores even, maybe some extra food as well, just in case I forget any. It's just some basic necessities that I would need before a mining adventure. And of course your basic crafting table, furnace and things like that. So that's the reason why I'm making this because I think it's just gonna make mining trips in the future lots, tons easier. So we're almost done getting rid of some of this gravel and then we'll be able to start on mining out the walls and get, getting all the decorations in. So once we get these pieces of gravel out, Okay, so gotta get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this wall as well, just to make more space in this area. And oh, well, I guess that's where the lava's coming from then, because there is a cave over here. Well, I never would have thought that. Well, I actually never had lava issues over here, but I guess there is some sort of cave over here. So that's interesting. Obviously there could be diamonds there, but I'm not gonna check that right now, although I probably will at the end of this video. So I'm going to go check that out and see what it is. Because I do have a water bucket on me, so it's going to be a breeze getting across that lava. So all we have to basically do at this point is just break away some of this roof stone, and in this case, iron now. And that should probably be tall enough right there. Now as far as like all of this chunk that I got mined out up there from the gravel, I am going to do something like that in the future. I am going to obviously get up there and replace all those blocks so that way it doesn't look that ugly. Hopefully there's no lava there, and there is. It looks like I'm going to have to place, and there we go. I could even place like a door here too to access this area, so this is actually a really good idea to make because now I found a new mining area. So now the flooring is going to be these stone bricks. That's why I brought these down, and that's why it's also one level beneath. Yes, I know there's gold there, but I'll try to remember it's there. What I'll do is I'll actually place break this away, so when I come down here next time, I'll be like, oh, why is this here? Well, maybe it's because I forgot to mine the gold. <laughs> So let's go and finish up and put all these here and of course break the torches too because I won't need these anymore. But I do need to make sure I place a lot of torches because I definitely don't want creepers down here sneaking up on me when I want to mine. So that would definitely be a horrible start to a mining trip if that were to happen. So I'll place some torches everywhere just to <laughs> make sure that doesn't happen. And there we go. So this little mining area is complete but obviously it needs more decorations. But over here is where another strip mine is going to start because obviously you have to make it two blocks away from each strip mine. So this is the next one. Over here though, this could also be another strip mine. And then of course this right here could be another one as well. So this will be like a strip mining network of different strip mines. And it looks like we're already coming across coal and redstone in this one. So that's a pretty good start for that strip mine. And then here I also want to place a torch because I definitely don't want mobs spawning in these little cavities. And there we are. So I'll also mine out these two as well because over here is probably where I'm going to put the necessity materials like the crafting table, the furnace, and the various other materials like the chests and all the other things I want to bring down here. Now there is more gravel over here but it's not as much as it was in the middle so this shouldn't be as bad and plus it's easy just to place the torches, break the dirt, and we'll be good. And one more little row of gravel and that will be it. And it's just two blocks, so that makes it really easy. Then we'll break away the dirt. And the actual area for this will be done. And what I was even thinking too, is instead of making this huge square area down here and mining out a bunch, I could actually use the space that was created by the gravel to make like a second floor to this mining area. And that way I can put even more. So the first floor will have the entrances to all the strip mines, but the second floor will have the crafting table, the furnace, and other necessity items. So I think that'll actually make this pretty interesting. Instead of making this just your basic boring mining area before you start mining, why don't I make it just a little bit more special and add some more decorations as well as that second floor. But as you can see, it is kind of a mess right now, but it does kind of have a general shape at how I want it. So perfect. The gravel actually helped me this time. Normally gravel is just a nuisance, but wow, this time it really did help. It did definitely eliminate a lot of the work I needed to do to mine out this stuff. And there's even more up there too, so that is definitely great. Can't believe I'm saying this, but kind of grateful that the gravel's here. <laughs> so we'll go and finish this up, and over here, conveniently, it is on the edge. So this is actually an even area, which is great as well. There is a lot of dirt here though for some reason. Guess we reached a dirt patch. Oh great, a dirt and gravel patch. That's lovely. I'm not gonna deal with that right now. 
Looks like there's another one of those over here, but let's see how long it lasts. Looks like the gravel's gonna be another annoying part in this strip mine. Or maybe it'll just end, and it won't give me any problems. So, here's all the strip mines that I have to work with. I have six total. This one goes through this amazing looking cave with all the lava. And this one, these two are basically just normal, but these go through this annoying gravel and dirt section. And of course, as I'm right here, I already explored in the previous videos. And in future videos, if I ever decide to mine again, I'll explore these new areas. So there we go. The basis of the mining network has been completed. And now that we've completed the basis of it, as I promised earlier in this video, I am going to be showing you guys this area. So let's go ahead and explore what this is. And obviously, I have no idea what's down here. So this is new to me as well. But we'll see what this is. Over here, it looks like it's a dead end, so I'm not going to go over there just yet. And I'm obviously going to use this water bucket to get rid of all this lava. Ooh, well, looks like we found something here. There is a zombie. Ooh, I thought that was a ravine for a second. Or wait, oh, uh, is it a ravine? I don't know. Doesn't really look like it, though. We're still on diamond layer, though, but this cave looks amazing. Wow. This is definitely a great cave. Ooh, looks like I just placed the <laughs> water there. Looks like I'm going to have to go up here and get this, which is a good idea anyway, because this water is really messing me up. Looks like it's in the ceiling. Where does this go? It goes all the way up in the ceiling. Looks like it goes to like a whole different cave area. Let's place a torch up here and see where it goes. Ooh, a zombie. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, there is a creeper as well. Die, zombie. Okay. Whoa, okay, that was unexpected. But let's go back up here. Oh, wait, this is where the source is. Okay, so let's just... Oh, wait, maybe that's not the source. The source is right here. Oh, that was definitely a journey up there. There's even more cave up here as well. But this cave is huge. There's so many different areas and ores. But we'll just have to see what else we can find down here because I really want to find more diamonds. That would be amazing if we could find diamonds in this video. Along with the brand new mining network that I made. That would make this an excellent trip. I don't think there's anything else. But it looks like we're underneath a swamp due to the fact that the water is a different color. So I don't think there's anything. I'm not going to bother looking up there. I'm not going to look down there either. There could be things down there. But I'm going to not bother because the water. I will look over here though. Because this is a massive area. I don't expect any diamonds to be in the floor though. Because there's obsidian everywhere. Obviously, so I do not expect to see any diamonds in this area. But over here, there might be because the water kind of ends over here. There is just so much water in all of these caves so far. Just all these caves in general that I've explored so far in this world, they just always have tons of water streams in it. Never really understood why. I guess it's just the generation that this world has. Got some more. Oh, well, look at that. We did end up finding diamonds in this video. <laughs> wow, what a great adventure this has ended up really being. Even more cave as well. There's so much caves over here. But it looks like it's already four diamonds. So if it's an eight th diamond vein, that would be amazing. Let's see. Okay, looks like it's just four so far. But four is still great. But let's just see if there's any more than four. Come on, there's still a chance. Oh, maybe not. Looks like it's just going to be four. All right, let's just make sure I'm not digging into the lava. Okay, we're good. Yeah, it's just... F oh, it's five. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Oh, yeah, definitely want to get rid of that. Wow, I can't believe we found diamonds in this video. I never even thought we were going to find this cave in this video either. But we ended up doing that, and we found five diamonds as a result. So that is going to conclude this video for part one of my mining network building, as well as doing a mini mining adventure and finding these five diamonds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.